the last time you thought about your estate plan? If you are like many women, it's probably not something you think about often, if at all. We're busy with more immediate priorities like family, work, community. However, the need to have a well-thought-out plan has never been more important. The reality is that estate planning issues often affect women more profoundly than men because we're likely to live longer than our partners. In fact, women are three times more likely than men to be widowed at 65. Another truth, you are never too young to start planning. Here's a look at the basic documents every woman should have. First, you absolutely, positively, no matter what, must have an up-to-date will. The original will is the most important document to keep on file because it directs how your financial and physical assets are distributed at the time of your death. Along with a will, a letter of instruction may be beneficial. Unlike your will, this letter does not hold legal weight but it can provide an easy to understand explanation of your wishes and any final instructions once you pass away. You should also have a living will, also known as an advanced directive, which states your wishes for end of life care. A durable power of attorney for health care is essential, appointing one or more people to make medical decisions on your behalf if you are unable to make them yourself. Once you have your core documents, make sure you are titling your accounts in accordance with your plan. This means that the name on your accounts should also reflect the titling in your estate plan. As women, I truly believe it's crucial to take an active role in managing our finances, protecting our assets, and having a clear plan for distributing those assets in the future. And with the right guidance, from trusted advisors, you will be prepared for whatever the future holds. Until next time, I'm Adria Starkey with Aspire, Fine Marks Financial Series for Women. 